the shuttle that fell to Earth. As NASA prepares the Space Shuttle Columbia for its 28th mission, a palpable blend of excitement and trepidation builds among the astronauts and their families as they count down to the launch. This program offers an intimate glimpse into the lives of the seven astronauts, a diverse mix of seasoned veterans and eager newbies, and their families embarking on what is framed as an awe-inspiring journey of a lifetime. The narrative is enriched with personal perspectives, detailing emotional farewells, capturing the human aspect behind this scientific endeavour. The access to video material in this documentary is astounding. Home recordings on VHS provide a unique, intimate window into the lives of the astronauts. This treasure trove of footage filled with laughter, casual dinners and candid moments sets this documentary apart from others of its kind, adding layers of depth and authenticity to the storytelling. Produced by Louis Theroux's Mindhouse production company, renowned for crafting thought-provoking, heartfelt stories with a sprinkle of humour. Initially, I braced myself for just another space shuttle documentary, but I was pleasantly surprised. This narrative carves its own unique path, exploring a story vastly different from other tragic tales associated with space exploration. It's timely and raises a crucial question about space travel, scrutinising the systems and processes that when flawed, can have catastrophic consequences. In this documentary, we are transported back to 2003, yet the technology and ambience evoke the 1970s, setting a nostalgic tone. Knowing from the outset that disaster looms, the series masterfully unravels the humanistic elements stemming from such a tragedy, focusing on the emotional and psychological impact on the astronauts and their families. The documentary delves into the crash's underlying causes, pointing a critical finger at NASA's structural and management flaws. This message is clear. What worked in the past is no longer sufficient. This revelation serves as a poignant reminder of the need for evolution and adaptation within space exploration. As the astronauts undergo their rigorous training, they are encircled by a supportive cast of characters, men with robust moustaches offering ageing smiles and reassurances, their voices over the radio, a comforting presence, uttering everything is okay and Godspeed. Yet a darker reality lurks behind these affirmations, hinting at the inherent dangers of their mission. It's as if the astronauts, much like us, sign off on the risks involved without fully comprehending the fine print that underscores the very real possibility of never returning home. As I delved into the shuttle that fell to Earth, I couldn't help but draw comparisons to the haunting atmosphere of Alien, particularly in how both narratives treat the omnipresence of the machine, in this case the spacecraft. Watching Alien, I was captivated by the sterile, ominous confines of the Nostromo, with its crew isolated amidst the unfathomable vastness of space. This documentary, in a similar vein, lays bare the eerie tension aboard the Space Shuttle Columbia, surrounded by the constant hum of technology. The astronauts placed their lives in the hands of the spacecraft systems and the disembodied voices of mission control, creating a vivid contrast between their human vulnerability and the cold, indifferent expanse surrounding them. This juxtaposition struck a chord with me, highlighting the inherent danger of our reliance on technology. It drew a fine line between the awe-inspiring potential of space exploration and the chilling reality that, in space's unforgiving vacuum, we are ultimately at the mercy of our own creations. The voice of the machine, both in the suspenseful corridors of the Nostromo and the tragic journey of Columbia, served as a poignant reminder of the precarious balance between human ambition and the relentless indifferent forces of the universe. It made me reflect on the fragility of our endeavours and the profound respect we must maintain for the unknown as we push the boundaries of human exploration. The relevance of this story extends beyond the realm of space exploration, mirroring the broader human condition of complacency and their pursuit of progress at any cost. It's a cautionary tale, drawing parallels to contemporary issues like the overlooked flaws in commercial aviation, prompting reflection on the true price of human ambition. This documentary stands out by refusing to glorify space exploration or delve into political debates. Instead, it remains steadfastly focused on the human aspect, highlighting that the crew were not just highly trained pilots, but scientists and family people, an attempt by NASA to democratise space travel. This choice reflects a broader societal shift towards questioning outdated systems and the relevance of legacy institutions in the modern era. Brilliantly assembled, the documentary prioritises the perspectives of the families affected, portraying them as the true heart of the narrative. 
It doesn't shy away from criticising NASA's management, but avoids laying any real blame, instead offering a platform for those impacted to share their stories and find a semblance of closure. In a landscape cluttered with documentaries seeking definitive conclusions, the shuttle that fell to Earth embraces the complexity of life and the lessons we derive from tragedy without seeking to appoint blame. I hope you don't miss it. All three episodes of The Shuttle That Fell to Earth are available to watch now. Thank you so much for watching, and I would love to hear your thoughts. You're from it.